Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady Way. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a Goodwill blue box from Dayton, Ohio. This was shipped on July 11th of this year, and um, I'm a little scared with the blue boxes because my last one was really bad. Hope everybody's doing great, as I said. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn, my husband's name is Barry, and we are resellers. We go to auctions, we buy mystery boxes, estate sales, uh, jewelry jars, all kinds of things. We open them and bring them to you first. If you see something that interests you, simply send us an email at one, shady at y at gmail.com. We, uh, in your email to us, be sure to put a timestamp and a description. And um, if it's not the current video for that day, be sure to put the video name in the um, uh, email to us. <laughs> Shipping is $5 in the United States. Um, under a pound, anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you are located. This is what it looks like. Hopefully there's something good. Um, it's a treasure hunt. You never know what's going to be in here. So, let's check this out. Push this all over to the side. Um, this is a ring that um, I've shown before. I am about to list it online. And you know, whenever I do that, it does go up. Um, but I'm going to offer this at $35. This is a beautiful Infinity Melly Fiori ring. I'm going to list it probably in the 80 to 100 range. Um, so um, now's the time to get it. It's by Alan K. Um, it's a size 8. And it is a cutie. I love it. And um, so I'm going to offer that for 35 Okay. Let's just dive in and see what we can find today. Um, <laughs> is this Betty Boop, I think? Betty Boop. Hmm. This is old. This is a C clasp that needs to be opened up. Uh, interesting. Let's test it. It looks like sterling. It could be uh, just silver tone. I have the 18K. Uh, and it just disappears. So it is just a silver tone. So that's a cute little piece. Isn't this interesting? This is actually the um, piece that we have minus the dog and the chain. Um, so it was a two piece brooch from the 1930s. Um, very interesting. And look at that price, $78. That's crazy. Uh, a cool little 1930s piece. So it is one and a half inches by three fourths of an inch. And I'm going to say, let's just do $10 for the little Betty Boop pen brooch. These are glass um, faceted uh, beads. It's stretch. And I'm just going to say $5, but they are glass and faceted. Here we have, I believe this is, uh, let's see, yeah, Sarah Coventry, it is a J, I'm going to tell you that most of the time I get J's or A's or M's as initials, that must be um, the most, um, people with those initials and um this one is then the bamboo that was very popular there is a little discoloration on this little bump right here and I'm just gonna say because there is a little discoloration on a couple of little things I'm just gonna say two dollars uh 
Um, this pen is cute. Unfortunately, it's seen better days. Um, it's got some scratches, some um, uh, rust right here. So that's just going to be a dollar. I think this is a magnet. Um, so a dollar. Um, we have two bracelets here. Obviously, one broke, but these are glass. Really nice. Stretch with a ribbon. Um, so I'm just going to say a dollar since one of them broke. Here we have a pendant, and it says Monet. And it's a butterfly. Gold tone. And um, cute little piece. It is one inch by about three-fourths of an inch. And I'm going to say let's do $4 for little Monet but gold tone butterfly. We have a little toggle clasp. This is acrylic. Looks like a handmade bracelet. It is a size 7. And we're going to do just $2 on that one. We're going to put earrings over to the side. And try to pull out some stuff without breaking anything. My last box um, from Goodwill, blue box, was a complete <laughs> um, craft box. As I said, you never know what you're going to get with these. You know, it's donated stuff. So it is treasure hunting. So hopefully we'll, okay, can get some stuff out of here without too much struggle. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, because these are seeds. And they have been carved out. Isn't that interesting? So they make a design. This has, it's threaded up on ribbon. It is 36 inches. Um, and it's knotted in between each one. And I'm just going to say $3 for this. I find this very interesting just because they have... I'm taking the time to carve it out and make it a very interesting piece. So, cool. All right, let's see if there's anything easy. <laughs> um, unfortunately, this um, has some discoloration here. Um, it is interesting little coins that you could use off of this. Um, but this part, the chain part, is completely discolored. But these are interesting. Um, so I'm just going to say a dollar for this that could be used for something else. But they are interesting because they're um, multi-metals. Um, so that's cool at least. All right. We have a hammered no-name uh, bangle. It is a gunmetal. It is eight inches. And I'm going to say let's do just two dollars. Okay. These are glass. Okay, I like the colors on these. This is a brass tone uh, necklace with um, cat's eye glass beads in different tones of green. It is 18 inches with a two inch extension. And I'm just gonna say $2. I love the green. Here's one of those um, rubber bracelets. I'm just going to say a dollar. All 
All right, we have a fold over clasp. I don't see a name. It is missing uh, faux pearls. Um, so that's what it looks like, but it's missing two, three, four, half of, more than half is missing. So just a dollar on that. I don't think I've gotten a Goodwill box that didn't have a safety pen holding something. Um, and I don't even know why, because I guess somebody is just using it um, because the clasp is hard to use and it's a really small um, uh, a clasp. So um, it's wood beads. It is 18 inches vintage, and I'm just gonna say a dollar. Okay, I had to stop and um, detangle because it was crazy. <laughs> so let's see if we can do this quicker now because we don't have to constantly be untangling. As I say that, then we're already tangling. Okay, so this one is no name, but these are glass and they are um, dichroic glass, three um, strands, it has a lobster clasp, no name, as I said, they're all glass. The shortest one is 18 inches and the longest is 20. So on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do um, just $5. I wanna be sure to pick from the top. <laughs> Now this one is pretty, it is a tag. Let me find the tag. There we go. It is on a gunmetal, it is a Premier Design. If you've never seen that, that's what it looks like. And these are um, faceted black beads that, um, have an iridescence to them. It's just one single strand that's long. And it is, let's give you a length on it. 56 inches. And on the Premier Design, I'm just gonna say $5. This is just a chain, no pendant. Um, Gunmetal, lobster class, it is 32 inches, and I'm just gonna say a dollar. This one, I believe says nothing. Lobster class, it is just a beaded necklace with two beads and these glass beads that are really cool, they're striped. And it is, uh, let's see, 18 inches. And I'm just gonna say $2, love these glass beads. If nothing else, it would be cool to just make something with those. I'm not very um, crafty. Uh, let's see what we have. This is a fold-over class, no name. I believe these are uh, faux uh, abalone in a silver tone, and it is seven 
and a quarter inch, and I'm just gonna say two dollars. This one is um, a shepherd's hook, and then black matte beads with silver beads. It is magnetic. It is seven and a half inches. And I'm gonna say, let's just do $2. All right, this is an extension and it's just by itself. And it is a magnet that um, can be added to a necklace or a bracelet. And I'm just gonna do $2. And then we have another just silver tone chain that is broke and that's just gonna be a dollar. Safety clasp, it is 22 inches and I'm gonna say $2. We have a stretch bracelet, a necklace rather, these are all wood and this is just gonna be a dollar. Lobster clasp, um, waxed, um, double string and this has rhinestones on and a mixed metal like uh, so um it's pretty I trying to see if there's any missing rhinestones I'm not seeing any um, it is um, like I said mixed metal it is a lobster class, 16 inches with a three inch extension. And I'm just gonna say um, $2 on that one. We have a stretch acrylic bracelet um, in purple. And I'm gonna say, let's do $2. This is a bolo bracelet um, with a turtle. These are really cool, like blue tube beads, and these are wood. Um, the shortest it can be is seven inches, and I'm gonna say, let's do um, $4 on the turtle. Um, this one's stretch, these are acrylic, and we're just gonna do a dollar on that one. This one's stretch and it is um, dyed shell and we're just gonna do a dollar on that one. This one's acrylic, um, brown and orange, just a dollar. Um, this one is this really cool mesh um, stretch and I'm gonna do um, $2 on that one. Now this one was really um, tied up around everything. It is gold tone with a lobster clasp, a little discoloration on the lobster clasp, but this um, all moves um, in different angles. It is, as I said, gold tone, 16 inches, three inch extension with a inch and um, a half. And this is kind of like goldish copper. So it's probably discolored. So I'm just gonna say $2 on that one. This one says love and it's a bolo chain uh, bracelet, but it, might be locked up. So I'm just gonna say a dollar on this one. These do seem to be real leather. So if somebody could retie this, it might be nice. So I'm just gonna say uh, $2 on the um, leather. This one is completely discolored. It's a cool necklace, um, but the chain is completely discolored. Um, so I'm just gonna say a dollar on that one. Um, no missing rhinestones on this, but this does have some um, 
scratches and it's a long silver chain no name lobster clasp it is 28 inches with a um, two and a quarter inch um, um, pendant and I'm gonna say two dollars on that one This one has a little discoloration on the chain, um, but the it's lobster clasp. It is like so, and it's a little coppery, but these are really cool, these acrylic beads. Um, it is no extension and it's 34 inches. I'm just gonna say $2 on that one. Um, this one is a barrel clasp with um, two beads and little purple um, seed beads. It is only 16 inches, and I'm going to say a dollar on that one. This is one of those um, chains that generally say Korea, but this one doesn't say anything. But it has that, um, it has a safety clasp, roller clasp, like so, and it's braided, and it's silver and gold. It is 18 inches, and I'm going to say uh, $3 on that one. This one has no clasp, and it's a gold tone, um, loosely gold, I'm going to say. It is 22 inches, and I'm going to say a dollar on that. Now, this one reminds me of a Brighton piece, um, but there's no B that I can find anywhere. Um, it's a flower with a rhinestone, a heart, another heart, and a pearl. It could also remind me of a... Um, Lucky Brand, it's a lobster class, but it is unbranded, so it could also be uh, Charm and Charlie, who knows? <laughs> I have no idea. It is um, 16 inches with a 2 inch extension, and I'm going to say let's do $4 on the hearts because that's cute. This one. Um, is a horn and um, it's a discolored chain uh, I should test that but I'm not going to I'm not gonna turn on the um, presidium because I don't see any um, gemstones in here um, no there might be no um, so I'm just gonna wing it and say um, Let's do $3 on that one if anybody's interested. We have one of these chevron pieces with a long extension. I mean, a long chain with a lobster clasp with an extension. It is 30 inches with a 2 inch extension. And I'm going to say, let's just do uh, $2. I think everything in here is pretty much $2. <laughs> It's not horrible. Um, it's not like the floor, like the other one that we had, um, like the scraping things and everything missing. So it's not bad. Um, this one actually, um, gold tone. Um, these are probably quartz and it could be um, peridot. Uh, let's see. Not sure if these are real pearls. Yeah, they definitely have some grit to them. So this is a, probably the nicest piece we have. Um, it is magnetic. It is seven inches. And on this one, I'm gonna say, I mean, that's a very pretty um, with all the um, gemstones and pearls. So I'm gonna say, let's do $10 on that one. I'm gonna put it back in this little baggie. So 
so yay, we got gemstones. Here's another um, hammered bangle. It's a size eight, and I'm gonna do a dollar on that one. This is a cute piece. This is bone, and it's carved like a leaf. And um, it is black seed beads with um, a barrel clasp that looks brass. It is 18 inches and the leaf is an inch and three fourths. I'm gonna say $2 on that one. Um, no name, um, gunmetal lobster class. And it is flowers and gunmetal and some pink. And then there's a gold chain, mesh chain um, threaded through the bottom. It is 16 inches with a three inch extension. I'm gonna say $3 on that one. And then this one has a ribbon at the top and it's three um, strands. Um, I tied it really tight with the ribbon, but it probably um, is 18 inches to 24 inches without using the length of the ribbon at all. So I'm gonna say just $2 on that one. Um, this kind of cracked me up. I believe this is a um, bracelet that has been stretched out uh, completely, okay? Um, and it's rhinestones. And it would be really pretty if it was restrung. Um, so that's what it looks like now. So this is just going to be a dollar that needs to be restrung. Missing a clasp like so, you just need like a fold over clasp or a um, lobster clasp, barrel clasp, something. These are all acrylic. It is a triple strand. Um, these are um, faux pearls and um, acrylic beads. And I'm just gonna say, let's do a dollar. This one says, It is Laura Ashley, okay. Um, lobster class with an extension and it is leather up here and then these little beads and check this out. That's the back, that's the front. And these, um, just very cool looking. Laura Ashley used to be like really big when I was young. Um, it is, I'm gonna say 15 inches with a three inch extension and then the pendant is one and three fourths with the bail by one and a half. And I'm gonna say $5 on that one. And then this one is missing um, all kinds of um, uh, these beads unfortunately, because it probably would have been a cool piece. It is signed, let's see what the signature on this is. It's star, okay, which star makes good pieces, but everything's missing. So that's just gonna be a dollar. Now, this has a piece that's broken. And here's the second piece to it, like so. Um, but it's missing the um, rings, um, but that's what it would have looked like. There is no um, uh, name, so it's just gonna be a dollar. Sorry about that. The broken pieces I'm putting in a box and they sound like they're like um, breaking even more, but they're not. I'm gently putting in there, it's just the type of metals. This is those strings um, barrel class um, from the 60s and 70s. Um, some of the beads are missing the gold tone. So this is gonna be a dollar. Um, uh, those are kind of cool, um, but missing its um, color and everything. This one is a large lobster class, no name. These are neat. These are 
acrylic with gold tone uh, filigree beads. Uh, this one is 20 inches. Isn't that festive? I'm going to say let's do $5 on that one. We have this one, which is little beads, um, Aurora Borealis. And um, then at the bottom, it's like a little lace swag to it. Uh, cute uh, lobster clasp, as I said. It is 18 inches. And I'm just going to say for the yellow and Aurora Borealis, I'm going to say $2. Um, this is glass faceted, beautiful beads. It's stretched, and I'm going to say uh, $4 on that one. This one can hurt somebody. No, not really. These are plastic. <laughs> Discolored chain um, with the spikes and uh, like so. And the chain is discolored. So I'm just going to say a dollar on the spikes. Um, the shells are cool on this one. Um, and always be sure to take a look at your shells because sometimes they can be worth quite a bit. This one um, goes like so, and um, they're little, just little shells, and um, no clasp. It is 32 inches, and I'm just gonna say a um, dollar. Those are pretty. Now this one is, I keep, Hooking that uh, safety clasp, um, acrylic um, beads um, that are graduated like so. It's long. It um, has discoloration on the clasp. It is 36 inches. I'm going to say a dollar for that one. Unfortunately, this one probably was like um, a Coro or something, but the whole clasp is missing on it. Like so, there's discoloration. Somebody has added a chain to it. So I'm just going to say a um, dollar on this, and there is a lot of discoloration. So just a dollar. Now there is three of these, okay? And they're long and they are tangled still. Um, this is um, porcelain um, plates that have been broken and then the edges um, silvered and um, I'm gonna sell these all three together. And um, it's like, it was a crafting during the late 70s, I remember, early 80s. If anybody's interested in these, I'm just gonna do a dollar a piece. And they're on um, silver tone chains um, with lobster class. We have this one, um, which is, um, a safety clasp. It is um, blue acrylic beads. Oh, hold on, let me get this back together. Blue acrylic beads um, in different shades, but it is, um, you can see the seams on it. It is 24 inches, and I'm just going to say a dollar. Then we have um, a waxed um, strand with a um, crossbones, uh, poison crossbones. And I'm just gonna say, uh, let's get you a measurement on that. It is a lobster class. It is 24. just broke. So, um, it just popped out of the um, edge here. So maybe it was broken to begin, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna say a dollar on that one. 
This one's cute um, with these little strips that kind of look like flowers. Um, these are shells. Actually, they're all shells. Yeah, they're all shells with a barrel clasp. It is 16 inches, and I'm just going to say a dollar on that one. We have a Sarah Coventry um, floral brooch that goes like so. It looks like a rose. It is um, two and a quarter inch by two inches. I'm going to say $4 on the Sarah Coventry. Um, we have another braided um, Korea on a safety class, safety roller class. It is braided gold and silver, um, two-tone. It is 24 inches, and I'm going to say $2.00. Now this one, let's see, might be sterling. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is not. It's a shepherd's hook with um, little spacers in between and beads. And then these beautiful um, deep purple cat's eye glass and there's our sterling woohoo we have sterling and this um, as I said has a shepherd hook and it is a size 8 and I'm going to do $10 on that one. Then we have this silver tone. Hold on. It's grabbing everything. <laughs> okay. So it's like so. So it's like a Tibetan um, necklace uh, with a shepherd's hook. It is a pretty piece. Let's tilt down a little. 16 inches with a two and a half inch drop. And um, on this one, I'm going to say, let's do, um, let's do $5. Then we have this brooch that's a gold tone leaf. It might have had something um, like beads. Um, there's nothing there now. So I'm just going to say $2 for the little gold tone leaf. This one, um, very pretty, but it's missing a rhinestone right here. Um, and it's a brooch. And I'm going to say just a dollar on that one. Now this one, let's see, I believe this is an icing uh, mark. It is a, let me get it all strained out. There we go. It is one, two, three, four, five, six strands, seven strands. It is a size seven. And I'm going to say just $3 for the icing. We have this piece, which is no name, but it is pretty. It has a, all these little um, red and orange um, beads that are acrylic. It is a big lobster clasp. As I said, no name. It is adjustable, and the largest size is a size 7. And I'm just going to say $3 on that one. Then we have this one that has no name. It has faux pearls and um, silver tone. It is a size 7 also. And I'm going to say 
just two dollars. We have this wood hand painted um, bangle, a very pretty. It is a size seven and a half. I'm gonna say just three dollars on that one. We have this really pretty brooch. I don't see any missing rhinestones. Here's the back. Works with no problem. And I'm gonna say five dollars on that one. That one is really pretty. Um, we have a bro unfortunately a broken um fish that was a mother of pearl, but it's broken. All right, here we have gold tone um hoops. Those are gonna be a dollar. Uh, these are cute. These are uh, screw bags and they're plastic. Definitely older. It is losing some of the um, paint off of it. So those are going to be a dollar. Um, let's see if these are marked. I don't see anything, but they are a pretty red. And those are going to be a dollar. These are pretty. Um, they are magnetic and like little domes. Those are going to be a dollar and they're pierced. Uh, these are pretty. Um, no name on these. A very cool 90s. Um, enamel pieces. I'm going to say $3 on those. Uh, let's see. Little purple buttons. I'm going to say a dollar. Let's see. These are pretty. These are wires. All right, let's get them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, there we go. Aren't those pretty? Nothing missing on those. I'm gonna say $5 on those. These are chaps. I'm just gonna say they are in gray, silver tone. I'm just gonna say $2 on those. These. No name. Um, turquoise color at the top. No missing um, beads on them. And I'm going to say $3 on those. And then we have these. Need to be cleaned. Let's see if they're marked. No, and there are a lot of discoloration on them. So I'm going to say just a dollar on those. Then we have these large hoops are going to be a dollar. They are huge. They are three inch hoops. So a dollar. And um, this ring, really tiny. Um, it is... One of those that go on your knuckle, so it's hard to size, but at about a three um, or four, and that's going to be a dollar. And then show you what we have no match, no match, no match. This is a pendant, I believe. And a chain goes through here at the top and it's gunmetal and that's going to be two dollars and it is three inches by two and a quarter inch and then we have this little brooch that's going to be a dollar um this is missing paint somebody's project um, a wreath, no missing rhinestones, uh, no name 
a dollar. No match. No match. These match, and these are pretty. These are screw backs. These are wood and these are carved and shellacked. Um, really cool screw backs. And I'm gonna say, let's do $5 for those. We have the Grand Ole Opera Banjo with Mother of Pearl. That's gonna be $4. We have one Cowboys helmet for a dollar. No match. And these are going in um, a bag. Um, no match. Unfortunately, no match because that one would have been cool. Here we have a necklace I didn't see. A lobster class and a flower with beads. That's cool. Um, it is 18 inches with a three inch extension and then the flower is an additional two inches by two inches. I'm going to say $5 on the flower. All right, we have some more necklaces. Um, this one's just a chain. Let's see if it's sterling. does look like it. And it is. Okay, so we have two sterling pieces so far. So it's um, a really cool chain. It is short. It is 18 inches. So I'm going to say $10 on that one. And then we have just a beadball chain bracelet that is silver tone, like so. It is a size eight and a half, so a dollar. And we have this really cute but tangled uh, beaded necklace. It has this owl that's beaded. And there is one missing rhinestone right there. But isn't that cute? And I'm going to say just $2 for that one. And then this one has a G and it needs to be cleaned up. It is not sterling. And it is lobster class, 18 inches with an inch and a half extension. And I'm just going to say, let's do um, $2. All right, let's see. Um, unfortunately, this one has no match. This is a brooch, but it has a lot of um, discoloration on it. So it's going to go in with the um, broken pieces. Um, that's a cute cat, but I don't think we have a match. There's another um, bobby pin. Um, no match. No matches. Nothing. These do match here, um, and they are twist and orange, and these are going to be $3. 
unfortunately this one doesn't have a match but it's shamu and it is could be a great pendant um because this is mother of pearl um and i'm gonna say two dollars on the killer well then we have some bead ball put together these are older clip-ons see these tiny clip-ons and that's what it looks like a little purple um, disc at the bottom and I'm just gonna say two dollars on those um, that's a shame this is probably um, amethyst and um, a nice I bet this is yep this is sterling so um, that could be a really nice an easy pendant to put together. So I'm gonna say um, $5 on that one. Um, unfortunately, another whale. Isn't that a cool piece? Unsigned, but we only have one. Um, a little clip-on, a circle, rhinestone, an elephant, um, probably a little person. I don't know, it's a hat and some shoes. <laughs> um, a little whale tail, um, just a little glass. Um, a rhinestone, a hoop, a mixed metal, and a glass little marble and green okay let me put these in a bag okay we have a little rhinestone piece that's going in with it let me take a closer look at some of these pieces Um, this one I can already tell is sterling so it's gonna go in our sterling lot so f this is a fossil um, not sterling so I'm gonna say if anybody has a match and needs that I'm gonna say let's do three dollars on the fossil it looks like all of these are sterling so at least we got some scrap sterling and this one is very interesting this would be a perfect pendant and it is an Italian coin from 1996. And I'm going to say um, $4 on that one. That's a cool one. And this little heart um, that is crystal, um, I'm going to do $3 on that one. And then these I'm keeping. If anybody's interested in the um, bits and pieces, I'm just going to do $4 on this bag. So there you go. That's what we have. Um, what did you think? I thought it was an okay. I thought there was some interesting pieces. We did get some sterling. So that's all fine and good. Hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Thank you and give us a thumbs up. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us and we will see you on the next one.